working towards this particular show right now, it's probably dealing with one of the largest spaces that I've dealt with thus far. And it's really bringing together a lot more variables. Uh, and it's exciting, but it's almost like I'm conceiving of the whole space as if it were a painting or an installation. And so trying to make it all work together as one work rather than uh, just separate works or entities in the room. Just wanted to build a model as a way to figure out some of the pieces and the relationships uh, ahead of time. I had this idea that I wanted to suspend the paintings in the space and um, and so we're gonna actually use sort of like a, a picture hanging wire, but some from the floor and the ceiling to suspend them there. Uh, there's this idea of a floor rug that I've been working with and I've got different iterations of that with, have, that have different sort of saturations of color in it. And then I've got some existing paintings uh, that there's eight of them uh, that I've chosen for the exhibition. And um, these ones here in the middle that sort of create this sort of central um, space uh, that I'm, I'm working on those that define the, they make these walls, but they also have a sort of outdoor and indoor uh, imagery that's at their genesis. It's pretty early in the process. I've laid in like sort of basic structures and forms, and it's one of these six paintings that I'm working on that takes basically me taking a photograph as I'm looking out a window, seeing all this foliage outside on a bright sunny day. Uh, but then also the interior fluorescent lights and sort of structure of a space uh, are part of that image as well. So something just really, um, uh, I guess, entrancing for me or interesting for me was how it took all that information, both the inside and outside, and sort of smashed it into one plane. Whether you think of it as the plane of glass, in which you know I sort of saw that, or then on the screen, or just through a digital print. And so I've been taking that as a starting point for these paintings here, the series of photographs, and thinking partly about how we sort of see so much of the world through a digital screen or even digital outputs. And I was printing off just examples of uh, that image as I was thinking about using it. And then at one point, the ink cartridge started to die. And I like the sort of banding that happened there. But you could also think of it the same way that you, know, you try and take a, a photograph of a TV screen and you might get banding in it as well. It's sort of like an interference or even seeing like if one was in a room like Pompeii or New Orleans after the flood, there'd be this sort of like water levels. And, uh, the show is getting closer, uh, so the deadline is looming. Um, this one, I, I, I don't know, if I could estimate, I think it's probably uh, around 80% done. This one, it, it's sort of been lagging behind. It's not uh, nearly as complete. This one here uh, is, again, it's probably in that sort of maybe 80% category. I think there's a few things where I'm going to go back in and maybe adjust some colors. This one's pretty far along. Uh, really like what I've been able to get down in here where it has a sort of almost like a, a nubby sort of textural quality that feels almost like a, a rug or a weaving. And this one uh, is pretty far along the way. This painting, it's being a little bit shy right now, uh, but the idea with the show at the KMA is to have these six paintings uh, suspended in the space of the gallery and that uh, instead of hanging on a wall, they'll be suspended from uh, sort of wires and sort of secured on the bottom with a wire. And then the back side of the painting is going to be uh, visible to the audience. And I've been playing around with what information I want to expose on the back side of uh, the linen on the canvas. I'm a collector of lots of sort of bits of drawings and odds and ends. It's sort of like the visual sort of diary or journal uh, that I keep. You know, sometimes it's stuff that leads to a painting or leads to a, some sort of idea that I want to act on. Uh, but I keep these things around uh, me and oftentimes maybe 10, 15 years before I act on them.
So this image is a postcard uh, from the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. And I picked it up about 15 years ago. And it's been an important touchstone for me in the studio. Just all these different images coming together in one space. And even thinking about space that's usually hidden, it's been really important way to approach the exhibition, especially this part of it. Light and space are important to my work. I think about the light that emanates from a digital screen and also from the burning embers of a fire, both things that we stare at, often transfixed. I see the space of the stark frontality of my laptop with its many windows open, each one a thin slice of virtual space in front of the next. There is also the bodily experience of space. The sense of space felt from my body to the wooden chair across the table. The space from my body to the window. The space from my body to the oak tree. The space of my body to the neighbor's house. Each one object is further from my body than the next, allowing me to feel the space. <laughs> 